Hey, I'm Adam, and today we're doing probably the most dreaded weld in weld test history, the stainless steel vertical up stick test. So just like every other CWB test, this test has two stops and starts. They're both uh, at one and a half inches from each side. I will weld the square side first all the way up and then I will weld the beveled side all the way up until right here and then I will get the inspector to come and check. So I'm going to go throw my safety gear on, we're going to burn some rod. As per CWB procedure, we cannot grind on this test. Rod angle is straight in and pointed 45 degrees into the joint. With stainless steel, it has a tendency to crown when you're welding it, so you have to do a lot of manipulation to the puddle to get it to sit flatter. That is why I am weaving side to side as far as I am. With stop starts, I strike the arc about an inch above the previous weld, and I do a U shape at the crater of the weld, engulfing the whole crater and continuing on with the technique of a weave. With stainless steel, because it cannot take the heat, you end up doing a lot more starts and stops. Stainless steel stick has very thick slag and can pop off at any time. I hold my chipping hammer up until the weld is not glowing red anymore and then I chip it off. For the bevel side on the root pass, you need to go higher up on the beveled edge just because the puddle is very, very sluggish and doesn't follow you the way a 7018 would. At the stop start hold points, the inspector will come into your booth and tell you if you can proceed or not. For the first fill and the cap, I will be using a 1 8 rod at 70 amps. When cleaning anything stainless, you need to use a stainless steel wire brush to avoid contamination. When using a weave technique, you should pause on the edges of the weld to ensure that your weld stays flat and uniform. With stainless steel, your movements need to be slower at the beginning of your weld and increase as the plate and the rod get warmer. To avoid any slag inclusions, we should clean after every pass. For the cap pass, I'll be using a weave technique where I'm going to be stepping up about half the thickness of a 1 8 rod each step I take. By the end of your CWB coupon, it's actually in more of a V shape than it is flat anymore. That is because stainless loves to distort. Vertical up stainless stick is very, very tough. It is hard to make look pretty, so don't get discouraged. Here you can see I've finished up my weld coupon and now it is ready to get cut and bent. This weld is very tough. Even experienced welders have a hard time with it. Stick with it, practice often, and you'll be flying with it in no time. 